Hi guys, this is Mr. Hirschman. I want to just quickly review with you uh, reasons when I, some situations where we would add exponents. Um, so the rule is that we add exponents when we are multiplying powers. A power is just a base and an exponent. So this whole thing is a power with like bases. So a to the fourth times a to the fifth. That's a time when I would add the exponents. So I'm thinking a to the four plus five really a to the ninth. Here's an example of powers with unlike bases. a to the fourth times b to the fifth. And that gives me a to the fourth, b to the fifth. <clears throat> Sometimes we have like bases, but we also have other terms as well. We can think of 4x to the fifth times 3x to the fourth y like this. 4 times 3 is 12 x to the fifth times x to the fourth, x to the ninth, y. And finally, 3 to the fourth times 3 to the tenth is 3 to the fourteenth. One good thing to, one thing to try out would be imagining you have an expression like this, 5 to the second times 10 to the second. Well, we could actually think of 10 to the second as like this, 5 to the second times 2 times 5 to the second. And in here, this would give us 5 to the second times 2 to the second times 5 to the second. So I found some like bases. I can add their exponents now. So I have 2 to the second times 5 to the fourth. I can solve that. 2 to the second is just 4. 5 to the fourth is 625. And so 5 to the second times 10 to the second is going to give me 2,500. Okay. When we multiply expo we multiply exponents when we're raising a power to a power. For example, if I have a to the third to the fifth. This is a time when I would do a to the 3 times 5, or a to the 15th. You can think about why that's true, because a to the third raised to the fifth power means I have a to the third times a to the third times a to the third five times. This rule you should start to see is related to our last rule, because now with that I've raised a to the third to the fifth power, I could just add these exponents. And we know that the faster way to add them is to just multiply 3 times 5. In a situation like this, think of 4x to the second times 4x to the second times 4x to the second. Again, I'm going to multiply all of the 4s, so I'm going to raise the 4 to the third power. And I'm going to raise x to the second to the third power, so x to the second, x to the second, x to the second, which gives me x to the sixth power. I should simplify this because I can find a value for it numerically. 4 times 4 is 16, times 4 is 64. 64 x to the sixth. And this was my answer from the last problem.